Good morning students, my name is Amit Kumar Bissoy, the founder of Science House. I am a guide in chemistry. You know chemistry is an innovation. Learning gives always creativity and that creativity leads to thinking and that thinking leads to imagination. That is called innovation. Okay. So today the topic is called hybridization. Whenever a topic uh, we are discussing, a lot of questions in our mind that you, what is hybridization, how it is formed, what, why we study. So today I will try to elaborate those of things and uh, please, <coughs> I hope you can understand perfectly. Hybridization, firstly you can take a simple molecule called methane, methane CH4. The electronic configuration, hydrogen minus 1, carbon in the ground state, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So according to valence bond theory, those having unpaid electrons, they are participating in bonding. But here the two unpaid electrons, but we can make four bonds, CH, four CH bonds. So you can excited electron but gaining energy. And the electron always excited with the higher energy level. So it not from 1s, it is always from 2s. That electron excited to that in the excited state. So in the excited state, that electron jump to the 2p orbital. You can say 2px, 2py, 2pz, no problem at all. Next, <coughs> please kindly focus on that. Now it has 4 unpaid electrons. So we can make uh, 4 CH bonds, 4 CH bonds here. Okay, but uh, let's focus on that molecule. That 4 CH bonds is always identical. I can make a bond with that 2 hands 4 times. That all strength is always equal because it involves that 2 hands. So that bond involves CH bond, that bond involves CH bond, that bond involves CH bond. So all that to be same. But focus on that. This bond comes from hydrogen and uh, 2p orbital of carbon, 2p orbital of carbon, 2p orbital of carbon. But that is from 2s orbital of carbon. That is from 2s orbital of carbon. Okay. So all four CH bonds are equal here. No. In this concept, the hybridization develops. Now the definition, hybridization means it is the intermixing of orbitals which is associated with similar energy, which is associated with similar energy, intermixing of orbitals to form same energy orbitals. Here the 2s and 2p orbitals intermix and 4 sp3 orbital hybrid orbitals are formed. Now you can make bond and form methane molecule by CSP3, 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 CSP3. Now the four bonds are identical. Okay. So what is the definition? The intermixing of orbitals, which is associated with a similar energy, to form same energy orbitals. Clear? I hope you understood well. <coughs> and the next point of definition is orientation in a specific direction. Oriented in a specific direction. What it does mean? We know ionic bond that is purely non-directional in nature, covalent bond that is directional in nature. What is directional? What is non-directional? The covalent bond that is formed through overlapping of orbitals. The covalent bond that is formed through overlapping of orbitals. If I can shake a hand with someone, if I turn on, I couldn't say. That means when I overlap, when I mix, that is to be in a particular direction. So when there is a direction, there is a hybridization. So the covalent and coordinate bonds, they give hybridization. So the definition of hybridization, it is the intermixing of orbitals which is associated with similar energy to form same energy orbitals oriented in a specific direction. I hope you understood what is oriented in a specific direction. That means it is overlapping. So it should be in a particular direction. So generally covalent bond and coordinate bond they can form hybridizations. Okay. And the next one, <coughs> you I already studied you like that. That is, that is the ground state of carbon. This is excited state, energy level, according to energy level. Okay. And this is the hybrid state. On that hybrid state, the, uh, the four unpaid electrons in sp3 orbital, the four unpaid electrons in sp3 hybrid orbital, that means after hybridization. Okay. They are. They can make bond with four hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. They can make four bonds with four hydrogen atoms. Okay. 
this hybrid state is at a higher energy level. That means in this state, if the carbon forms bond, more amount of energy release because it has more amount of energy. This hybrid state is higher than that excited state, higher than that ground, ground state. If on hybrid state the molecule is formed, it loses more amount of energy. So after hybridization, if we form covalent bonds, they lose more amount of energy. And you know that the energy is always in most proportional to stability. More energy, less stable. More amount of energy leads. That means the molecule which is formed after hybrid state is stable. This is the ground state, excited state, hybrid state. This hybrid state is higher energy than ground state and excited state. Uh, in this state, if the molecule is formed, after formation of molecule, more amount of energy there is. So, after hybridization, we can make bonds with the higher stability. Okay, now, <coughs> please assume that uh, this is the symbolic, this is the symbol of a orbital, of a pure orbital, but that, that is the hybrid orbital. One part is extent. What it signifies? The enhanced overlapping. That means the molecule formed after hybridization with enhanced overlapping, with maximized overlapping, with the stability, with more stable. So this is the hybridization. Okay, hybridization means intermixing orbitals which is associated with similar energy to form same energy orbitals oriented in a specific direction. The molecule formed through hybridization is generally more stable. So this feature, this feature symbolizes the hybrid orbital which gives that the enhanced overlapping. So I told you perfectly that what is the definition of uh, hybridization I hope you understood every point of the definition of hybridization now uh, the second question that why we study hybridization hybridization predicts geometry what do you mean by geometry in school days I think you studied about geometry geometry means triangle square rectangle rhombus like that that means they give angle there is a length and these are the structures geometry means angle length structures so every molecule every molecule they have structures they have angles they have length that is called bond lengths okay so there is a theory called valence pair theory that is valence cell electron pair repulsion theory valence cell that means outermost electrons they are participating in chemical bonding so outermost electrons okay you focus that molecule ch4 there are four bonds. Bond means what? Electrons. There is a repulsion between these two bond pairs. These two bonds. Okay. If you are thinking like that, uh, water molecule, there are bond pairs, also lone pairs. There is also a repulsion in between them. So, any molecule they have a structure, and that structure depends upon the that bond pairs, lone pairs, and that bond pairs, lone pairs belongs to hybrid orbitals. The hybrid orbitals that have that contains either sigma bond or lone pair. They never contain five bonds. Okay? So the valence cell valence cell electron pair repulsion theory, according to this theory, we can predict the structural molecule by calculating the repulsion between them. Repulsion between bond pairs if they have bond pairs. Repulsion between lone pairs and bond pairs if they have bond pairs and lone pairs. So the repulsion order is lone pair, lone pair, better than lone pair, bad pair, better than bond pair, bond pair. Why this order? Why? Okay, what do you mean by lone pair? Lone pair is the unshared pair that is lonely. It never shared with another atom to form a bond. This is the unshared pair. Okay, so it occupies more space. It occupies more space. So definitely it repel the lone pair, the bond pair more as compared to the bond pair. Because these are the shared pair. Half part of that molecule and half part of belong to that molecule. Clear? So the repulsion order is lone pair, lone pair, greater than lone pair, bond pair, greater than bond pair, bond pair. Okay, hybridization predicts geometry. The geometry is angle, structure, length. The valid, the BSPR theory that predicts the geometry of molecule by taking repulsions. 
repulsors between bond pairs, repulsors between lone pairs. And the repulsion order is lone pair, lone pair, get another lone pair, bond pair, get another bond pair, bond pair. So, uh, I hope uh, you should understand two questions that what is hybridization, why hybridization is required. The definition of hybridization is intermixing of bitters, which is oriented in this uh, intermix, sorry. Intermixing of the bitters which is associated with similar energy to form same energy or bitters oriented in a specific direction. Okay, the covalent and coordinate bonds they have hybridizations. Fine. And the second one is <coughs> hybridization predicts stability. And third one is hybridization predicts geometry. And the theory called Vesita theory. You properly understood what is hybridization and uh, the stability, geometry. So, hybridization predicts geometry. By taking the account of repulsions between bond pairs, lone pairs like that. And that is based on the BSE field theory. Geometry, every molecule possesses may be regular geometry or may be regular geometry. What do you mean by regular geometry? What do you mean by regular geometry? Regular geometry means the molecule contains only bond pairs. Irregular geometry means it contains bond pairs and lone pairs. Now we discuss about the regular geometry. Okay? If I take an example like CO2, CO2. Okay. There are two sigma bonds. I already told you that hybrid orbitals only involves sigma bonds and bond pairs, not pi bonds. So I will count the sigma bonds, two sigma bonds. Two bond pairs. Okay, so hybridization is sp that two orbitals are involved. One is s, another is p. They combine and hybrid orbitals are sp. The angle is 180 degree and shape is linear. Okay, maybe you have a doubt why the angle is 180 degree. Why the shape is called linear? Because you already <coughs> know that that the two bond pairs so the hybrid orbitals are sp. But why that angle is 180 degree? Why the shape is linear? If I take if I will take two bond pairs like that, bond means what? Bond means electrons. I can arrange two bond pairs like that, I can arrange like that, I can arrange like that. But bond pair means electrons. Electrons, electrons, they have similar charge. They definitely refer to each other. So, they are arranged in such a way that there is a maximum separation between them and minimum repulsion between them. This is the angle where the two bond pairs are arranged in such a type there is a maximum separation and minimum repulsion and the bond angle is 180 degree and it behaves as a line so the shape is called linear if I will take three bond pairs if you take three bond pairs three bond pairs ok so now this angle turns to 120 for maximum separation and least repulsion so V F three that molecule is there are three bond pairs, three bond pairs. What is the hybrid orbitals? Orbitals S V one V two S V two angle one twenty degree for maximum separation minimum repulsion. This is a triangle and it plays on a plane. So the shape is triangular. Next one, if I can <coughs> add another bond pair, this is the four bond pairs in C H four molecule C H four four bond pairs. So, hybridization is S P3, SP3 and the angle is 109.18. The shape is tetrahedral. The shape is tetrahedral. Okay. Now, is the PF5, there are five bond pairs. Five bond pairs. So, SP3DS, P34D1. That is SP3D, five hybrid orbitals. And the shape is trigonal bipyramidal. The shape is looking like that. It's a Triangle, triangular, it's a triangle, okay. triangular, and this is the bipyramidal nature. So, these angles are called, these positions are called equatorial, uh, are in, uh, angle between them is 120 degree, and the axial, that angle is 90 degree. So, in triangular bipyramidal structure, there are two angles, equatorial, equatorial, 120 degree, equatorial, axial, 90 degree. When there are five bond pairs, the shape is trigonal bipyramidal. When there is six bond pairs, for the example like SF6, six bond pairs, hybrid orbitals, SP3D2, the six orbitals like that. Like that. Like that. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All bond angles are 90 degree. All bond angles are 90 degree. But there are seven bond pairs. There are seven bond pairs. These are my pentagonal bicameral. These angles are 72 degree. This is 90. It's a pentagon bicameral. Pentagon 72 degree, that axial position is there, there 90 degrees. So, these are the regular predicted geometry. Thank you for this class. I hope uh, you understood this session properly. And for more other updates, uh, subscribe my channel, the Science House, a quest of knowledge, that is a source of knowledge. Thank you.